Hey guys, it's Google again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the S3 outfitted with the minimal OS based on Lollipop, so stay tuned for that. Now the S3 has uh, always had, it has had uh, lollipop ROMs for a while now but they were not really the most stable releases out there so uh, well sorry to say this but S3 is showing its age now but this ROM kind of had me excited because this does really work on the S3 which is really really cool so let's get into the ROM now first of all what you would see here is the lock screen which is a standard lollipop rock lock screen so nothing special uh, it does have the uh, icon for that and yeah this is the launcher now the launcher is the basic launcher so you don't have much stuff it is the basic science and model launcher which is really cool really nice and all that so pretty nice let's get into the settings now and in, in the about phone page what you would see here is that it is minimal uh, OS it does have a minimal updater which will check for updates I'm not really sure if uh, this is the official version well if it is officially supported by the OTA releases but uh, it is it seems to be have yeah, having that so yeah it is uh, the s3 it is the Android version 5.1.1 so that is really really nice build number is this one this is quite an old build there hasn't been any new releases right now so about minimal OS in this you can see the change logs device maintainers share and all that so please do and uh, give them some publicity because this is a really really nice ROM now in the extra settings now yeah the name is minimal OS and I have actually reviewed the same minimal OS on my Nexus 5 and it is really cool now this is going to have a bit of extra settings now let's get into the extra settings now first of all is minimal tweaks in the minimal tweaks you have status bar options in which you can actually change the uh, notification ticker brightness control by swiping across the, uh, the bar all of that is enabled and uh, show notification count double tap to sleep clock and date option you can change it you can have the alignment to center uh, AMPM indicator all that stuff it's really nice battery style percentage uh, battery style you can have circle bar whatever you need it's really really nice it does give you a lot of options there notification drawer option you do have quick pull down show weather uh, it does show weather I have uh, right now just installed this version so it won't be showing anything here so yeah force expand notification now uh, tiles you does have a bit of tiles it's nothing overwhelming like what you would see on uh, something like bliss pop or anything like that but it gives you sufficient number of tiles so that is something there compass is of course there which is one of my favorite tiles so yeah and rush uh, to first two rows uh, show brighter slider if you disable that you can also use the slider on the top of the status bar as a alternative which is really really cool which is personally what I use uh, vibrate on touch auto touch auto close panel all that heads up notification setting you can turn off the heads up notification altogether if you do are not a fan of that well most people are not Timeout settings, uh, add app to not disturb and blacklist apps, all of that is working, it's really nice. Expanded desktop is also a function where you can uh, assign each application to use expanded desktop by default. Whenever you get into an application, it will turn on expanded desktop, it, it will turn off the status bar and notification and the um, the navigation bar if you have turned it on to uh, not show up so it is also there sound option it does give you an option to disable the safe headset volume warning which comes out and also the camera shutter sound so you can disable that but it will give you a warning and it is illegal in a lot of areas so I'm not going to watch for that uh, buttons the buttons you can enable the on-screen navigation buttons which is really really cool I personally am a huge fan of this thing because I've been I, my Z3 is my personal daily driver and uh, using that with a custom ROM it gives a lot of uh, usage scenarios I mean like uh, cursor control buttons here and there that's really really nice that's really useful people don't realize how useful it is so yeah buttons and layout you can actually change that navigation rings all that can be uh, changed navigation you need you can also disable that left-handed mode show arrows while typing this is what I was talking about it's really really nice double tap the nav bot to to uh, lock it will save your buttons one day I have actually replaced my phone because of a broken power button so yeah keep that in mind um, 
recent long press action if you want to uh, enable that you can have that power button and call uh, home button can answer call wake up device or whatever you want you can actually enable that that's already enabled so yeah that is there wake up device with volume control playback control uh, cursor controls all of that is working now in the overview settings so you can actually enable the uh, clear all button in a recent menu I'm going I'm just going to say it's a recent menu so you can enable that uh, the location of the clear all button clear all tasks uh, show search bar also can be enabled disabled from here it also has C clock which is a cyanogen mod clock widget which is really cool it does give you a lot of information in a minimalistic design so I really personally like it a lot that is it in the personalization options now this does support layers now what is layers layers is basically a, a theme engine for your device it gives you a lot of things um, I wouldn't really uh, prefer this over the cyanogen mod theming engine but that's a preference thing uh, it does give you a lot of options it is a simple it's it's just as simple as downloading a zip file locating it and installing that you can actually select what all things are themed so that is kind of granularity which is achieved from layers this is actually something similar to what uh, Sony uses in their theming engine so really cool it does uh, it is uh, uh, available for you guys in the display settings uh, normal functions uh, like it does have ambient display which I personally like a lot and I had to use expose modules to enable that in my Z3 so it's really useful because it gives you it wakes up your device as soon as you take it out of your pocket that is something which is much much better than any double tab which I have ever used so yeah it does give you a pulse alert pulse dose a fade in time all that is available here so critical it does give you an LCD density changer on board so that you don't have to use any other uh, DPI modifier applications or the WM shell script which is really easy but hey it gives you on board uh, also font size small fire which I call it as a smallifier because I like it small and it's also available now rest everything is similar to what you would expect on any other lollipop ROM nothing special here but something which I wanted to talk about is the battery life now I am impressed with the battery life this is giving me uh, right now you can see this this is when the phone was off and uh, using uh, the touchless uh, team when uh, the recovery for some time and I had to change dates and all that now this area you can see is almost not utilized I mean that is zero wake clock issues which I found with this ROM that is something impressive I mean really really impressive so yeah that is something which I was not expecting on a lollipop ROM uh, not even on a touch with uh, KitKat ROM so this is something really cool I'm going to recommend this ROM to all the people who like minimal uh, ROMs which utilize less RAM because hey face it this doesn't it only has one gig of RAM and you are restrained in that so this is a really really good daily driver in my opinion and uh, the time I've been using it it is really really cool that is it in the settings menu that's something which I wanted to talk about what all does this come with now these are the ones which I installed uh, third party uh, everything else is what you get it doesn't give you a browser uh, it gives you a file manager though so that is really cool it gives you all those stuff uh, it does have root and it does work out so that is really nice so yeah let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty nice so here is the boot animation for the minimal OS on the S3 well also on the other devices so this is the boot animation which is pretty cool so yeah there you have it that is the minimal OS in a nutshell so let me show you guys the enter the benchmark score which is pretty pretty nice I really really like the benchmark it's nothing special this is what I received after like a fifth run after it has gotten time to thermal throttle and all that so this is what I received and we'll do it once more so yeah
So there you have it. That is a score which I received, which is a decent score. It's nothing special or spectacular or something like the Archie Roy, which gave me 28,000. But this is a realistic score after a few run-ins. So this is going to be the uh, what I'm going to say as a realistic performance from this ROM. So I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, who is this ROM for? In the conclusion, I would wish to answer this question. This is for people who like minimal, but they don't like the lollipop uh, induced <laughs> the lollipop induced uh, sluggishness which is associated with the ROMs uh, on the S3 because let's face it all the other lollipop ROMs has some or the other kind of catch to it and I'm, I'm pretty sure this one does have that too but for my usages and uh, for most of the people's usages this is going to be a really really stable uh, really good battery life giving uh, lollipop rom on s3 so that is really cool so thumbs up for that so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye